Nursery Rhyme Fun Zone, once upon a time, in a quaint little town nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks, there lived a brilliant inventor named Professor Albert. He was known far and wide for his ingenious creations that dazzled the imagination of all who beheld them. But as time passed and age caught up with him, Professor Albert realized that his greatest invention was not a machine or gadget, but rather a legacy of knowledge and discovery that he wished to pass down to his grandchildren. Professor Albert had three grandchildren, Emma, Ethan, and Emily. They were a curious and adventurous trio, always eager to explore and learn new things. When their grandfather passed away, they were saddened but also intrigued by the mysterious inheritance he had left for them. In his will, Professor Albert had left a series of cryptic puzzles and inventions scattered throughout his workshop. Along with these puzzles were instructions that hinted at a grand secret, a legacy that could change the course of history. Excited by the prospect of unraveling their grandfather's mysteries, Emma, Ethan, and Emily gathered in the dusty old workshop. They found the first puzzle, a strange contraption with gears and levers that seemed to do nothing at first glance. But as they examined it closely and followed the clues left by their grandfather, they realized that each piece of the puzzle unlocked a hidden compartment revealing a clue to the next puzzle. With determination and teamwork, the siblings solved one puzzle after another. They deciphered codes, tinkered with mechanisms, and pieced together riddles until they reached the heart of their grandfather's legacy, a hidden chamber behind a false wall in the workshop. Inside the chamber, they found an ancient-looking book bound in leather and inscribed with mysterious symbols. With trembling hands, Emma opened the book and began to read aloud the words written in their grandfather's elegant script. The book revealed the true extent of Professor Albert's legacy, a groundbreaking invention that could harness renewable energy from the sun and revolutionize the way people lived. But along with this revelation came a dark secret that had been buried for generations. As the siblings delved deeper into the book, they learned that their family's fortune and success were built upon the exploitation of workers and the environment. Professor Albert had wrestled with guilt over this legacy and had dedicated his later years to finding a way to make amends. Filled with a sense of responsibility and determination to right the wrongs of the past, Emma, Ethan, and Emily decided to bring their grandfather's invention to life. They gathered materials, enlisted the help of experts, and worked tirelessly to create a prototype of the solar energy device. But their efforts did not go unnoticed. A powerful corporation that had profited from the family's unethical practices learned of the siblings' plans and tried to sabotage their work. The siblings faced challenges and setbacks, but they persevered, fueled by their grandfather's vision of a better world. In the end, they unveiled the working prototype of the solar energy device to the world. It was a momentous occasion, not just for the siblings, but for everyone who believed in the power of innovation and redemption. The legacy of Professor Albert lived on through his grandchildren, not just in the form of inventions and puzzles, but in the transformation of their family's legacy from one of greed to one of hope and progress. And so, the town that once knew Professor Albert as a brilliant inventor now celebrated him as a visionary whose legacy changed the course of history for the better. Thank you.